Hey for lifers, it's your girl Tiana here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me to become a part of the family here. Before we get into, into this video, I just want to say that this will be one of my last few videos on this camera. I have finally decided between two cameras, well really three actually, which one I want to get. So new camera me, new camera coming soon. But for now, we've got a couple videos left to film on this trusty device that we have right here. Now, let's get into what we are doing today. As you can see by the title, we are doing a Shein try-on haul, spring Shein try-on haul. If you follow me on Instagram, First, thank you. If not, you need to follow me at yes, that, it's that T. Um, but if you do follow me, you've already seen some of the pieces I'm going to show you today in a reel and a post. So um, make sure that you're following me on Instagram to kind of keep up with me also with what's going on on YouTube. A lot of things I do here, I try to incorporate also on Instagram as well. So follow me if you are not already. So this video is another one of those like couple of way we can, ways we can style an outfit or a piece video. I did most of that in the reel, so make sure that that you head on over to Instagram, follow me at yes, that is that T so you can see what that's all about. As always, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging high and dry. I have to have a coupon code for you guys, and it is HRS678. That will save you money off of your total purchase at Shea.com. Everything that I have is gonna be a size small per usual, so let's, I guess, just get right into the video. So we are starting off pretty much on the basic side. So I just have this romper this is like a mocha colored long sleeve slinky type of material romper this type of romper is good for a lot of different things i personally wouldn't wear it out just like this but you could if you wanted to i would pair it with like a jacket or even tie like a um, flannel shirt or a jean shirt around my waist or something like that just to add more style because this as it is slightly on the boring side it's giving the girls um, a little boring so I would add something to kind of dress it up but it is a pretty scoop necked romper so that's something to keep in mind it is pretty low cut as well so that's also something to keep in mind if that's not really your style it's higher up in the back a little bit over here so that's good very 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 stretchy and I really do love this color I have this in a small and typically in the past anytime I've gotten a romper I've gone up a size to a medium but I don't think that that's needed with this because the small is exactly how it should so mocha romper Something that I feel like is super essential and a staple to your spring wardrobe is a denim jacket so I have this white cropped distressed hem denim jacket and like I would wear this together with a nice tennis shoe or something like that so I feel like a white denim jacket is definitely needed in the springtime because Let's face it, springtime can be warm during the day, but the temperature can definitely drop at nighttime a little bit. So having just something light, and then white is such a spring summery color, having something light that you can just throw on on top of your outfit is definitely a necessity. So I would wear this together as one style, but you can also pair this white denim jacket with light blue denim, shorts, a dress, there's a lot of different ways that you can style this white denim jacket. And if you follow me on Instagram, yes, I said T, you've already seen four ways that I've styled this white denim jacket. So make sure you follow me, y'all. So for this next look, we're just here for the shorts, but I also have a purse and a pair of shoes I want to show you. So let's start with the accessories. So first I have this purse right here. This is like a quilted type of just nude everyday color purse it is like it's a crossbody but it also is a satchel so it has your top handle so you can wear it as a crossbody or you can just wear it as a handbag or one shoulder I've been kind of into wearing a crossbody bag like actually as a crossbody and not just on one shoulder lately and I think this one is super cute and definitely ready for the warm weather and then I also have these sandals these are just like a strappy type of sandals I have the shoes in a size eight and a half if I'm not mistaken it's a European 40 um, which typically translates to an eight and a half or nine depending on the shoe um, and then of course the bag 
so this look is perfect for like a daytime out just a day out which I love and I just paired it with this white tank top for the sake of the shorts I had this tank top for some time um, but I think this purse is really cute and the, the quilted design helps to kind of just elevate or add to the look it's not just a regular you know purse a regular pattern purse and it does have your zipper on top it has gold hardware so that's something to keep in mind when you are accessorizing with your jewelry and things like that these shorts are just an everyday style rolled um hem denim short it is stitched in the front and then it's stitched on the side and a little bit in the back so kind of help you keep that roll hem I like that personally because in the past I've had shorts that I've constantly had to like fix throughout the day or make sure that I really iron really 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 tightly so that they won't roll down. Shorts that have a hem that roll down is the most annoying thing ever. These I have in a size small and y'all like look at all this space that I have back here. I've got space in the bottom, space on the back so I don't know that a smaller size would do me justice because I like how it looks from the front. I like that baggy look. Or maybe if I can just add a belt or even just have it taken in a little bit right here I think would work for these shorts all right so we are here for the shorts again and I love these shorts so I love having like fashion style shorts like this so this is a green pair of shorts they are a little bit satiny um, soft silk feeling they have little pleats in the front right here and they do have pockets which we love nothing extra really special going on in the back these are perfect shorts to add with a nice fitted bodysuit or a fitted shirt underneath because the shorts are a little bit big now keep in mind I do have on a size small and I will leave my measurements in the description box I'm going to actually update like take actual body measurements and update for you guys because I know a size small fits differently on everybody and some people really do need like the hip measurements and the waist measurements and the bust measurements to kind of help and judge so this is me telling you I promise I'm gonna go ahead and put my updated measurements um, along with sizing in the description box so check that out because this is a small and I like how it fits on me as you guys can see it is a little bit loose in certain areas but somebody else maybe that has more booty than me it may not be as loose so they may want to size up so I'll leave the measurements in the, the description box look at these pants y'all I was so excited when I saw these because they're different they're out of the box let me bring the camera down they are different they're out of the box they're unique like they are just it's a pink legging essentially a pink ripped legging with this like tubing going down the front and the side and onto the back to give it this very different very fun look at first when I saw this on the website I was like yeah I need to have those I need to try them at least they may not be for me but I've got to at least try them because they're they're different and I feel like for a picture, like, I don't know how practical this is to wear, but definitely for a picture, it's giving. I could see this at like a turn up brunch, like a really fun, like daytime, just turn up style brunch or like a birthday gathering, something like that with a cute heel and a nice shirt. It's giving Ursula. When I took pictures in it for the reel I did last time, it's giving Ursula like Little Mermaid, just the way these things are, simply because they hang off in the front right here, if you guys can see that. But I just think these pants are very fun, very different, and playful. And I really love the color. I like this pink. Before we switch gears and get into some outfits, I do want to quickly show you four pack of workout shorts. Um, off the body, these were looking super duper short, and I was like, I don't really know about that. But um, they're not as short as I think I thought they were going to be. I still feel like I, I don't know how comfortable I would be in the gym with these on. Um, you know I don't really have much of a booty and you can still see where they're stopping on me. So if you have a little bit more than me, they are most likely gonna be much shorter than they are on me, on you in the back. But they're really comfortable, they fit well. And like I said, it is a four pack. And then in the four pack, it came with a black pair, a, this is like an off-white cream type of pair, and then this muted purple pair so four pairs of workout shorts super comfortable ideal for biking if you're a biker you know like a cycler I feel like these shorts would be really really comfortable and useful for that I would definitely wear these for an outdoor workout maybe hiking Stone Mountain in the summertime or you know running outside um, but for me in the gym we're we'll we'll get there 
we will definitely get a couple of dresses to share with you before we get into like the actual outfits that I put together. So here is the first one and honestly I was a little bit skeptical of it at first because I didn't think it was going to look well because I didn't really know how it was going to fit. But now seeing that it fits really well I feel like it looks much prettier than I originally imagined or originally thought it would look. It's really just like a black lacy dress. There's a solid black underneath and then you've got this like lace overlay as you can see it's two different um like pieces uh right over the top and you've got some cutouts right here so that's really dainty and pretty and then the bottom is like a flare type of skirt at the bottom air frilly type of skirt going on at the bottom the length on this skirt or the dress rather is really nice so it is like super appropriate for a lot of different occasions and you know this going on I, I can't really picture where I would wear this to simply because it has the cutouts here maybe like a dinner um, something like that something not too professional or businessy because again you have these cutouts and this is not just mesh like this is actual like skin cutout so you I wouldn't really wear it to something too professionally businessy definitely not to work maybe just like on a daytime or an early dinner or something like that. So here is the next piece and this is just like a burgundy maroon type of little flowy frilly dress which I really like it's got this v-neck there's no zip or anything so it is just just pull on um, it's got the elastic at the wrist to hold that in place you know give you like a cute little sleeving detail there and then it is just a flowy really pretty frilly dress solid color I know for a fact this came in a couple different colors for some reason this maroon color just popped out to me and if you know you know I like this dress because it is multifunctional. It's something I can wear in the classroom. It's definitely not too short. It's a perfect length, covered up enough, nothing too revealing, really professionally, you know, just put together, giving you that teacher look. So I love dresses that I can have multifunctions for. Now, the one interesting thing about this dress is that this tie right here is not attached to the dress. And also there's no loops or anything for it to go through. So if you are gonna utilize a tie, it's kind of just like free tying it around your waist. But I do think that this dress is still really pretty without the tie as well. So the tie just adds an extra detailing to it. But like I said, there's no loops at all going around. So you may be, you know, messing with it throughout the day trying to get it to stay in one spot but it does look really pretty still without the tie as well let's just give a disclaimer i i don't think that i would wear these two pieces together it's it's not giving the vision that i had in my head for the two of them together but for the try on we're gonna roll with it so let's start with the shirt so this shirt is just like an open shirt there are three buttons here and that's it so originally when i saw this online i thought that that's just how the model was wearing i thought there were more buttons but there's not, but it's okay because that's the style of the shirt. I think it's really cute and it's perfect for springtime because it's airy, it's light, it's airy. Like I love the color of the shirt. I love the very open neckline and the, you know, clothes where it needs to be, but open, you know, to make it look cute. I know it came in some other colors. My eye was just drawn to this because spring, summertime, you know, trying to up my colors a little bit. You've got your bell sleeves going on right there. And then you also have a collar and it's a nice length in the back. Now, now, these jeans are just a basic high waist distressed denim it's got distressing on the ankle as well and in the front so you can kind of see that now I don't think that this shirt pairs well with these jeans like I thought it was going to in my head because the, je the jeans are just a little bit too high for the shirt like the shirt is not shirting because these jeans are so high if the shirt has some style and the style's not able to come through with such a high waist jeans uh, the jeans are super comfortable they have back pockets they're not doing that thing in the back to me as much so I'm super excited about that and I do have these in a size small there's a decent amount of stretch I wouldn't say you're getting all the stretch in the world so that's something to be cognizant of but honestly this is the best fitting pair of Shein jeans I've ever come across like honestly really these these jeans fit well they're nice and snug where they need to be they're not too big around certain areas so I really do like these jeans and I really do like this shirt it's just not giving together this outfit is actually giving exactly what I thought it was going to give. So let's start with the shirt. So this is a button up cropped shirt that has a tie here and you've got your fun sleeves. Um, I love this top. Now this top can be worn a couple of different ways. You can pair this with a skirt, you can pair it with jeans, you can pair it with 
pattern pants, whatever, this shirt is definitely versatile and it's definitely a daytime fun vibe shirt. These pants, baby, these pants. These are like that slinky material. I have them in a camel color. They have ruching around. Let me come closer. Get my acrobatic skills going on. They have ruching going on at the bottom half of the leg and they are split hem oh, in the middle right there. So it'll look really well with a little heel on. And I have them in this like camel burnt orange color. Like I said, they are slinky material. So that's something to keep in mind because I know some people feel like it is not the most flattering. Me being one of those people, um, I have to really prepare myself if I'm going to wear slinky material for the day. But I think this outfit is super cute together and it's kind of doing exactly what I thought it was going to do. I picture myself at a brunch with this outfit on um, with the right shoe, like maybe like a clear heel or something like that. Or for some reason, if you're familiar with the Atlanta area, for some strange reason, I'm picturing also being at Cirque Daiquiri Bar Restaurant Lounge thing with this outfit on. I feel like it fits the vibe there. It, it would fit in at that restaurant. I, I don't know why that's the restaurant popping out of my head or that's the environment, the atmosphere, but um, it is. So yeah, I really like this and it's super lightweight. Like the pants aren't too thick. They're not heavy. They're not like too sticking to your body. So they're comfortable. The shirt of course is nice and airy. It's not snug to your body. I am actually liking this outfit a lot and I'm so glad because I was definitely nervous about the pants. Not the shirt, but definitely the pants and both pieces are size small. We have a romper, y'all, and I'm so excited because to know me is to know I'm a fan of rompers. Let me come closer so y'all can see the detailing on the front. So you've got a pocket here, pocket here, buttons down the center, all the way down. This material is like a nice off-white light linen material and this, there's a belt right here so it's not going to be too hot it's the perfect type of material for those warmer months i'm excited about this romper i thought i was not going to like it um i do wish i could you know kind of make it there we go there we go um i i am excited about it i was nervous at first because i was like wow that looks huge um i feel like you'd have to dress this up the right way i'm feeling a brownish fedora a brown heel to match something to kind of keep the neutral earthy vibes going because i feel like this romper very quickly can give you like insane asylum patient looking at it in my phone right here it can definitely give insane asylum patient very very quickly we do have two pockets in the front right here so that's a fun detailing and i love this belt y'all like i just love this romper i feel being like it's giving adult it's giving mature mature vibes um mature stylish i'm, I'm just picturing hair down a cute fedora i'm getting all the vibes all the beachside or beachside restaurant type of vibes from this romper. Here's the next fit, something super duper casual. I just got these light wash denim jeans. They're literally just basic jeans, no rips in them, no no nothing, no crazy hem, just literally regular degular all the way down skinny jeans. Um, they are pretty high waisted. These are a size small. I don't have very many light pairs of jeans in my wardrobe so I wanted to make sure that I had a pair as we move into warmer months you know lighter colors and things like that of that nature and here they are from the back with four working pockets two in the front two in the back love that for us now this shirt is just a basic long sleeve well it's not basic it could, I guess be considered a basic it's a long sleeve white shirt one shoulder and then the other one is just the sleeving the whole thing is ribbed which i like i love a ribbed material and it's got the same design going on in the back this is a, a shirt that will elevate an outfit you see how i have these basic jeans on the second i put this shirt with it game changer game changer so i feel like i'd have to wear like a heeled sandal or something like that with this shoe to kind of keep going on with the vibe i'm i love this I don't know about together, but I love it separately. I feel like it's a little too matchy-matchy together. But separately, I love both of these pieces. So first I have this one shoulder type of style mesh shirt. It's one shoulder, but then it's got the sleeves like the previous white shirt that we saw. And look at look at the sleeves, y'all. Look at the wrist. Look at look at it. I love that. It adds so much. I love a long sleeve. I 
loving loving this shirt i have it in this like rust type of color i think it did come in a couple of other colors i think it came in definitely a lime green because i was almost going to get the lime green but i love this color because it blends with my skin perfectly and i love that i have it in a size small it is kind of like a crop i tucked it into the pants a little bit but it's giving like baby crop it stops at my belly button so it's not a crop crop but um, it's giving baby crop, so you could wear it with a couple of different, you know, height bottoms. And speaking of bottoms, let's get into these bottoms. So these leggings are similar style to the previous, like, burnt orangey ones that I showed you where they're leggings. And then they have ruching at the bottom and split hem on the inside. But they have this, like, wavy detailing going all throughout the legging, which I really like. I know for a fact this came in a pink-based legging. Um, I don't know what gravitated me towards the blue. No idea, but I think I was just thinking, let me try something different. The swirl design in the pant, the color is like very identical to the swirl in the shirt. I feel like together, I have my phone over here so I'm able to see more full body. I feel like together it's giving me very like 70s, especially because I've got the flutter on the sleeves and the flutter on the pants. It matches really well. It's giving 70s. I don't know that I would wear this together just because I don't want to be too... Yeah, but the shirt is definitely a vibe, definitely cute. I feel like the pants could go well with just a solid colored top, like a white top or, um, yeah, a white top will look really good with these pants and the shirt would pair well with jeans or a nice type of short, something like that. But for the sake of the trial, we put them on together and this is the look. Okay, we have come upon the last look of this try on haul and it is another shirt and pant combo that I've put together. So let's start with the shirt. So this is just like a free tie shirt. If I were to untie this, it would just be kind of open. Long sleeve with stripes. So it's a white shirt with black and tan stripes, which I like nice and summery. Um, I did have a little bit of issues with the tie because my bra was like showing. I tried to tie the tie around the bra, but it's just a very little bit in the middle. I'm sure you'd be able to like finesse the tie somehow to where the bra won't show, but I have it in a size small and I think it fits really, really well. These pants now are also part of the Shein Sexy line, like the last pair of pants. And to be honest with you, if I could size down, I don't know if this comes in an extra small, I'd have to look again. If I could, I definitely would because like they're leggings and the waistband should not have any extra space in a legging like this. So the, as I'm walking around, they kind of are, like I'm feeling them fall down a little bit, but they're not bad. I do like the style of legging. They're actually ruched all the way through. So they have ruching in the center and then ruching in the back. And so it creates that pattern or that detail going all the way through. They are just fitted um, straight leg leggings all the way down, so no split hem or anything like that. So that's cute. It's a cute look together. I think I would just need to size down a little bit on the legging there, but I love the colors, nice and bright and fun and summery. Super cute. Okay, y'all, so that really brings us to the end of this video. Huge shout out and thank you to Shein for sponsoring this video and sending me all of these items. Don't forget to like the video if you have not already. Subscribe to the channel if you are not a for lifer become a for lifer today uh comment down below what your favorite look or piece from this try on haul was i think i have a couple in mind but i want to hear what you guys think as well so let me know in the comments what your favorite piece or look was from this haul don't forget to follow me on instagram if you have not already yes size that t where you can see more fun reels and things like that including pieces from this haul and the last haul and just reels in general i want to be connected with you guys on all of the platforms Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.